Welcome back to our second tutorial on Microsoft Excel for Beginners. My name is Shane and today I'll show you the solution to your homework assignment and I'll begin to introduce you to some of the toolbar features surrounding fonts. First let's talk about our homework. If you remember back from tutorial 1 I had asked you guys to create a list of 10 students and I've gone ahead and filled out my part and also make up 10 test scores and I put column headings above uh, and I was asking you to determine the total of all scores and this is where I was testing you. I wanted you guys to come up with uh, an average of those 10 test scores as well. Uh, but before we get to, the, to the, the answers of our homework, let's go up here and let's, uh, let's go back to our tutorial 1 area and let's talk about uh, our total here. If you remember before, we simply created a formula that said that uh, cell B2 plus B3 plus B4 equals the total. And that worked but I want to show you a better formula. Um, you can use the equal sign as always and you type in the word sum, open parentheses, and now I'm going to drag on Jill's sales number and I'm going to drag down to include Sarah and Frank. Notice that the dotted line square incorporates all three numbers. I'm going to press the close parentheses and enter. And there's our total and notice that we did that very easily without having to click on a lot of different cells. So let's take what we've learned and let's go down to column or cell location F12 and let's say equals sum again I'm going to click on John's test score and drag all the way down to Matt's to incorporate all 10 scores close parentheses enter and there's our total now the average is where I challenged you. My guess is a lot of you said, well, to determine an average, you need your total. We have total here. And we also have 10 students. So average would equal the total divided by 10. And, and that is correct. We get 85.9. That is our correct total. However, I'm going to show you a better way to do it in Excel. And I'm going to call this average function just like with our sum function I taught you earlier uh, Excel has a built-in function called average so I'm going to say equals average open parentheses and let's incorporate all 10 scores close parentheses and enter and again we get the same number now why is that different well it's different and, and why is that better I should say it's better because Average allows us to quickly determine an average without knowing the number of participants. Here, in this formula, we had to take the total and divide by 10. We just happened to know that we had 10 students. But a lot of times, you may not know how many participants you have. So by using the average function, Excel automatically counts the participants and spits out the average for you without you having to know. So that's the benefit of using the average function. Uh, okay, well that concludes our homework. Uh, now real briefly I want to talk about some font formatting techniques. Um, let's say that we want our total to stand out. How can we make that stand out from the rest? Real easily, just highlight the text and come up here into your toolbar. And again, I'm on the Home tab. And select the Bold key. This will turn your selection bold. And if you click away from it, you can see now that it, it, it does indeed make it darker. Well, let's say we wanted to make the font size a little bit bigger. How can we do that? Again, select the text and select your drop down and let's select 14. And now our font really stands out. It's, it's much bigger than the rest and it's bold. And you can do several other things. Let's pretend, let's, let's make average uh, italicized and let's make our average function underlined. So there you go. Uh, you can also change the background color. Uh, let's make this really pop out and let's make the background oh I don't know I'm on the wrong one. Let's go here to our back our fill color and as you can see as you hover above each color it, it turns so let's say orange. That looks kinda cool. So that really makes our total pop out. Uh, let's come up here to our column headings and let's make those bold and let's let's put an underline along the bottom border of the cell. And look at there. And now our, 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 
column headings stand out too. Um, you can also change the font color. Let's make this green and let's make this red. That's kind of cool. So there's all kinds of different ways you can manipulate your fonts uh, to make them pop out and stand out from the rest. So I uh, appreciate your time today. Uh, oh, don't forget your homework. Uh, your homework, I want you to take your existing 10 students and then I want you to call this group 1. And then I want you to create two more groups, and I've gone ahead and laid it out how I'd like for it to look. Group 2 and Group 3, of, and each group has 10 more students with their test scores. I'd like for you to total and average each group individually, and then I'd like you to, to have a grand total and a grand average for all three groups. Okay? All right. Well, thank you guys for your time today. Again, my name is Shane, and please subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.